All right, so let's customize our workspace. All right, so there are four things that I use constantly um, when working in Adobe Illustrator. And that is the Pathfinder tools, the alignment tools, uh, the swatches, and the layers panel. So what we'll do is go up to Window and Workspace, and let's say uh, New Workspace. And I'm just gonna call this like uh, McKinsey's Workspace, uh, but you can call it whatever you would like. Uh, let's click OK. Um, so uh, you can see if you click over, or see over here, we are in McKinsey's Workspace now. Uh, nothing's changed, but uh, if we change anything, it will be applied to McKinsey's Workspace instead of Essentials, uh, which we were in before. So like I said, uh, the Pathfinder is number one. I use that constantly. The Pathfinder tools are actually open already uh, from the previous video, um, but they are how you like unite, subtract, uh, intersect, uh, exclude, merge, divide shapes. So it makes it super easy to like overlay shapes and then like cut off uh, certain parts of the shape or unite shapes together to create one shape. You will probably be using that quite often. I usually put that right up top. Uh, the next one is the align tools. Uh, so I can grab those right here. If you don't have those, you can go up to Windows Align. Same with the Pathfinder. Go up to Window Pathfinder to open that up. So let's just uh, click on this top bar on the Align panel and put it right below the Pathfinder tools. So Pathfinder Align. The next one is uh, Swatches. So I don't have those open. Um, so they uh, do live right here. So I can go and pull those out. Or again, you can go to Window and down to Swatches. I'm gonna grab that whole panel, put that right there. So this Libraries panel, I don't really use it that much. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of that. And then the Layers panel is already at the bottom. Again, uh, Windows, uh, Layers to open that up if it's not open for you. And then let's clean this up a little bit. So let's close out of transform. These symbols I rarely use, um, so I'm gonna pull those out and get rid of that. I'm only gonna keep what I use uh, pretty often. So the color and the color guide, um, I honestly never use these. I always go down to uh, the toolbar and double click in there to uh, pick my color. Or I will go to like window, down to swatch libraries, and like you can open up, for example, color books and go down to uh, Pantone plus uh, solid coded, for example. And that will give you, like if I open this up, it gives you a ton of options that you can work with. Um, and if I wanted, I could grab this and drop it in the same tab as my uh, swatches panel. And I can uh, work between those. Opening up swatches is pretty cool because it gives you uh, pre-made colors that you can quickly select from. Uh, so I'm just going to leave that there and go up to color. I'm just going to pull that out, close it. Let's see what's this. Color guide, rarely use that, so let's close that as well. The brushes, um, I do use that occasionally, especially if I'm working directly on my iPad um, via something like AstroPad. Um, I will use those, so I'm going to leave that. The stroke, I don't find that useful to have it open because like all of this is available up top in uh, your application bar up, up here. Uh, so I can close those. The gradient, I can reopen if I need it. Uh, same with the transparency that's available up top. So uh, let's clean this up, close those. The appearance uh, panel is actually kind of useful. So if you have like multiple styles applied to a shape, uh, for example, if you have a uh, drop shadow applied as well as a fill color, uh, you can go in and just uh, edit those directly. Um, you can change the opacity. Let me just show you. Let's uh, hit M to grab the shape tool, draw a shape. Let's go up to effect and stylize and click drop shadow. If you hit preview, you can see the drop shadow it makes. Uh, let's just use the default. Uh, so now you can see with this selected, uh, the drop shadow shows up in the appearance panel. If I double click on that, I can get back to the drop shadow settings um, and then like uh, tweak it however I would like. Um, something like that, for example. 
make it a little bit more subtle. And then if I don't like that, I can just go into the appearance panel and click delete and it doesn't harm the, uh, the shape at all, which is very cool. All right, so I'm just gonna go delete that. So let's do keep the appearance panel, the graphic styles, almost never use this. So let's go ahead and delete that. Let's see, asset, export, and artboard. So you do have the option to create um, multiple artboards, uh, which is handy if you're working on like an icon set, for example. Uh, you can hit Shift O and open up the artboard settings. And you can see up top, you have like the width and height of your artboard, or you can drag out and create a new one. And then it will show up in your artboards panel. So that is handy. Maybe I should keep that. The export assets, um, I honestly don't use it quite that much, um, but maybe you would, so you can choose to leave it or uh, keep it. You can also go to file, export, and um, export stuff from there as well. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that. So yeah, this is uh, the workspace that I work in the majority of the time. So it has the Pathfinder tools, the Align tools, the swatches, and the layers panel on the right side. It's got all the tools and such on the left side and then the application bar on the top. It's also very focused and clean, so I have the stuff I use quite often. If I do need another settings or tool, I can always go up to window. For example, the brushes, I can go ahead and select that and it'll open it up. Anything I need can be found under the windows panel. But yeah, that's all there is to my workspace. I try to keep it very clean and focused on uh, the essential stuff that I use commonly. And then for anything else, I can go into window and open that up or uh, find the effect or whatever I'm trying to do. That's where it would be found. But keeping it out of the way helps me focus and find what I need quicker and easier. And it just uh, makes my illustrating life much, much better. All right, so in the next video, actually in the next few videos, we're gonna be talking about uh, various tools that you're gonna be using uh, quite often. Thank you.